baffled, Annie. Try to relax, I Grady. can't relax, Annie. I'm thunderstruck. I just don't know why it's not working. You've only been open a week. Is there something wrong with me? Am I not worthy of something I did in a past life, maybe? <laughs> look! Look at my creations. I said, look at my creations. Any one of them could have set the industry on its ear and not a single one of them have caught on. What do you want me to say? <gasps> the Miro, the mullet, the bi-level genius. Admit it, Annie. Annie, admit it. And look at the salon. All the right variables. Tattooed stylus, vintage clothing. Everything is perfect. Maybe it's the music. No, it's not the music. A little more skull. Yeah, with a Latin beat. That's what Cecil did. He, he. Gregor, overnight success doesn't just happen. I'm 22, Annie. Past my prime. I just, I want the freedom to to create distinctive looks for men and women in the, the bi-curious. I know. You know? Well, look at our bookings, Annie. Not one. Not one indie film character actor, Annie. Not one. Isn't that her name? Oh, yeah! My aunt and her spastic daughter! It's a star. I fall on thorns with life. And I believe. You aren't the first to fall upon those thorns, dear. But no one understands my creations. All the greats were misunderstood, Gregor. It's how we know they were great. But they don't know what it's like to be so alone. So horribly alone. <laughs> you are alone no longer, Gregor. Morgan Le Fay. Honored, sir. I've been following your career for, oh, several months now. I practically hemorrhaged over the bob that you gave Joaquin for his vainly fair cover. Oh, thank you. Thank you for recognizing genius. I, I, I just, I never thought it would be so hard. Hard? Crumpet! Let me show you hard. Jeez. God, I'm gonna be sick. Putting hot wax on your hand. Now that's hard. Electrifying the hair care industry by putting one of your dues on every female in the country? <laughs> Easy as pie. But how? I have racked my brain searching for a gimmick. Well, precious, perhaps you just haven't picked the right one. Come on, man. I'm doing this for your own good. I can't. I quit. I know, I know. You can't. You got an addictive personality. I got a very addictive personality. Well, let's look at this rationally. You're in a high stress line of work. You got to do something to take the edge off. True. I mean, what are the odds of you living to see 60, huh? Bad. Lousy. Trust me. And what else? You can't see your family. Can't have sex. Or at least you got to sneak around. <laughs> Well, if you're going to put it that way. I'm telling you, nicotine is one of the few fringe benefits of this job. Mm. Give me the lighter. You sure? Give me the lighter. I don't want to influence you. Don't you just love cigarettes? You want it on the holodeck and careful. Wet paint. Calmsy, downsy, Coslo, lighten up. Nobody's phoning anything in. You know, Ford, ever since the Benoit incident in 89, I get nervous tics. Calm guy like me with a nerve disorder. And I got the pills to prove it, too. And you know what, Ford? I hold you responsible. Cos, the guys are working around here like it's a Korean deli. Results, Ford! I'm sitting here, I'm looking at your quarterly report. How am I supposed to explain this? Bunch of... Damn delinquents. You don't think delinquents is a little harsh, Coslo? Delinquents. Okay, delinquents. Pills, Ford. Medicine. A calm guy like me! You get it together, Ford? I swear. I will reassign a lot of you. He hung up on me. Oh, screw him. Guy's unstable. Who's that? Coslo over at District. It's not like I don't know Faustian renunciations are down. Way down. We're doing Reagan here in numbers. Big deal. Big deal. It's a huge deal. I'm getting pounded here. You sure this isn't personal? I mean, you and Coslo have never gotten along. Yeah, I might be a little bitter. I admit it. He got promoted and I didn't. I harbor some ill will. Are you bitter? You bitter? Oh, no, fuck. 
But if you want, we can go over there and jack them up for you, you know? Anyway, it's not like they can can you. Yeah, they can reassign it to Poughkeepsie. It's cold in Poughkeepsie. I hate snow. So let's quit yakking. Let's get down to work. What do all these pictures have in common? Anorexia. What else? Collagen. What else? Drag marks. What else? I'd sleep with all of them. No. The hair. Look at the hairstyle. Notice any similarities? Wow, they all got the same do. Precisely. It's the heat right now. It's called the bi-level. And every teeny bopper soccer mom, society went to hell. Every chick on the planet's got to have it right now. Ever since little Jennifer Cranston unveiled it on the season's finale of Confidence. Confidence, right. Right, that's that show where the beautiful people with no jobs live in these massive apartments in New York City and argue about cappuccino? That's right. But it isn't little Jennifer we're after. It's the mastermind behind this hair revolution. One, Gregor knew, which might beg the question, who knew? Don't let it. Gregor knew, went from flunking out of cosmetology school to cutting the heads of ambassadors, Iraqi oil wives, studio execs, virtually overnight. He's got splashy spreads in all the fashion mags and a waiting list in the next year. The guy looks at a pair of scissors that cost you a grand. Any idiot could see he made a deal. We're in the wrong biz. So getting a renunciation out of this punk is no problem, right? You can sweat him in 10 minutes? All right, we get it, we get it. Just give us the address. Now hold on a second. Given I want you to reconvert this guy, but I also want you to find out who his Morlock was. Is this some new company policy? Chandler, in case you weren't paying any attention, I just got reamed here a minute ago. Wait, 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 wait. Just, just so I'm clear on this. You want us to treat the symptom and come up with a cure? I'm going to have to renegotiate my contract. Always the wise guys, you two. Hey, I'm trying to start. Merci. A man torn from his family, murdered in his prime, only to return to Earth resurrected. We'd like you to become an operative in the Corps. Fight evil, save soul. As an agent of the Almighty Corps. Chandler, meet your new heart. With no magic, no special powers, forbidden from intimate contact. Unrecognizable to those from their past lives. Chandler Smythe and Henry McNeil now fight to save lost souls against the minions of darkness. Deals with the devil are bad. It's our job to stop them. Is he always like this? It is the battle of good versus E. G versus E. That's what it is. Is Fausti and deal with an earnest plea about saving his immortal soul? It could, or maybe it's just an idea. We could beat the crap out of him. I like it. Look, if you have to tell me he's famous, he's not. This is China's third biggest chop sake action star. First in Burma. First in Burma, and in need of a train. I want Gregor to color my tips. Forget it. Security! Well, wait, I think you're making a big mistake, because this is exactly the kind of perfectly random clientele that this place needs. Left of center, foreign. You cannot afford to not see a guy of his... Uh, let me run it by Gregor. Third in China. First in Burma. Mm -hmm. So Gregor suggested the magenta blue combo. And I said simply, positively, no. It has to be something from the Fuchsia family. But you know what? I gotta say, he stuck to his guns, and that's why he makes the big bucks. No doubt. I guess his newer styles are adequate, but it's his early work that gets me. The mullet or the Nero? The mullet. I still get chills every time I walk into a hockey or indoor soccer game. Uh, 
Gregor will see you now. <gasps> Gregor, no. In the flesh? Yes. It is I. Have a seat. Mm. Fan does not describe what we are. Mm -hmm. You know my work. Oh, yeah. Intimately. <laughs> well, clearly you're a man of reading and taste, mister. Hang on. Hang on. Mm. Hang on. Mm. Oh, everything's fine, Jeeves. Run along, please. Give us room to work. Mr. Hunt, mm. just looking at your um, ample skull, mm. and I'm getting excited. We're going to do great things, Mr. Hunt. Mm. May I ask you a question, Gregor? Fire away. How's your soul huh? these days, Gregor? Excuse me? You know your immortal soul. Everything okay? <laughs> In a hair salon. <laughs> no one can hear you scream. <laughs> Suggest you think twice about it. And here's our car. Don't hesitate to call. Uh -oh. All right, so maybe the hostile approach wasn't the best idea. Well, I actually kind of enjoyed it. Well, good. I'm so glad you did. Meanwhile, I got no renunciation and no Morlock contact. We got some good surveillance photos. All I got's a whole lot of nothing and Kozlo wanting to bite my hiney. Although I can't figure out how you guys got a camera in this thing. I... Jap division. Yeah, you got some decent shots, which I could cross-reference on our database, but the painter shorted my computer with a putty gun. God, this office is falling apart. What is it with you people? Hey, Ford, call for you. Who is it? Is that Cosmo? Take a history? message, take a message. That guy's relentless. Doesn't he ever sleep? Are well, you still on you about that uh, renunciation thing? Uh-oh. I bet I know who that is. Oh, man, Coslo, he's going to be the death of me. Listen, Coslo, I already told you. We already... Uh, who is this? This is the mighty Gregor. Is Chandler there? Yeah. This is Chandler. Yes. I've been thinking about what you said, and you're right. I want to renounce my Faustine bargain and save my soul from hellfire. I, I want to come in from the cold. Can you meet me halfway? Japanese Gardens. 11 tonight. Well, there's a pickle for Christmas. C4, what you worried about? Everything's under control. <laughs> right. A call-in renunciation? You guys gotta be nuts. That's a setup if I ever heard of one. It is? They don't just throw up the white flag like that, Chandler. What do you recommend? Backup, man. Backup. I think I know just who you mean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, McNeil, uh... Tell us again why we got called in. Yeah, that kills us. Tell it again. <laughs> oh, man. Me, yo. Oh, okay, you know what? Tell us how, how you guys got worked over. By some artiste. <laughs> and how the grass got really nervous. And had to call on the big guns. Meeting us. Tell it again, baby. Yeah, that kills us. Tell it again. <laughs> you tell it better. Oh, hey, seriously, how, how many Fausties have you bagged this matter, you know, I, I wanted to get back to the office, I promise. What are we talking, one, maybe two? How many did you guys bag? Uh, 57, right? 57? Yes, yeah, right. 57. 57? But don't worry, we won't let it get back to the office. <laughs> Is this thing closed? to the rendezvous point, pick him up. Chan, you just stay here, keep a low profile, listen in on the conversation. King of Woods, y'all gonna come me, all right? I think we know our jobs, McNeil. And hey, why don't you worry about yours? Okay, okay, man, just check it. Uh, are you shaking up there, McNeil? Mm -hmm. What is that, is, is that fear? Hey, Woods, the black dude is shaking! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm fine, G Take it easy, Han, it'll be cool. Fix, man. You know what I mean? You got my own. Mm. I got 
catch a five by five. You see anything? Uh, nothing yet. Slide out on them place. Wait, wait, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Getting the visual. Get my dog's face. Careful. takes the life of a core agent. A bit of a metamorphosis occurs. Ah, you gentlemen look quite handsome in horns. Don't worry, fellas. I won't let her get back to the office. I'm afraid your fellow agents aren't the only ones still alive. <sighs> An excellent performance, Gregor. Your best work yet, if I may. But I'm afraid it's a trifle compared to the role I have for Mr. Smythe and Mr. McNeil. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifice the virgins and let the games begin. Where's Henry? You look quite handsome, all tied up, Mr. Smythe. Spare me the evil flirting. I'm not interested. It is not a good idea to insult your captors, Mr. Smythe. You're quite lucky to be alive as it is. Thanks for nothing. What are the toys for? Oh, those toys are tiny omnidirectional cameras. Cameras that will broadcast a 360 degree view of wherever you go. See? Everything you see, we see. Yeah, well, don't get too excited. Oh, but we are excited, Mr. Smythe, because you and your toys are going to give us a guided tour of core headquarters here in Hollywood. Right, check. I'll get on that. Once inside the headquarters, you will proceed to the database and download a copy of the core registry on a disk that we will provide to you, of course. First, get your lips off the crack pipe, honey. There are thousands of Morlocks, Mr. Smythe, who would pay top dollar for the identity and backgrounds of all the core agents in Hollywood. And that's what I'm all about, Mr. Smythe. Top dollar. What if I don't do it? I think you'll come to see my point of view, Mr. Smythe. Otherwise, Mr. McNeil becomes a human lab rat. <laughs> Ford. Ford Coslow. They blew it, didn't they? Well, hey, Coslow. What's happening? How you doing, sir? Spare me the bogus civilities, Ford. I'm fine, sir. Thanks for asking. Did you get the Gregor kid or not? Uh, it's, it's, it's not that simple. No. It is. It is as simple as replacing you to... No, don't say it. Poughkeepsie. You bastard. You didn't get him, did you? No. I knew it! I knew it! They've had to up my medication for it. 17 pills a day. I'm twitching constantly. I can't sleep. And I'm blaming you for this board. Tell you what. You screw up one more time and you're going down for a 10 count. Goes double for your fat buddy too. We gotta find Smythe and McNeil. How come? So I can kill him. As you can see, the floor and the walls to Mr. McNeil's playpen are electrified. Now, should you attempt to stray at any point from your appointed task, Mr. Smythe, Henry here gets the electroshock therapy. Ooh, he looks depressed. Now, should you attempt to undermine your mission and alert your fellow workers of your plight? 
try to give some sort of half-fake sign language to warn your associates. Try to fry the mic's inputs. In other words, anything off-color and handy goes for his therapy. You get me out of here, man! Scour all of Hollywood for Smythe and McNeil. I got a lot riding on this thing. This has got my tail in the sling and cause a little serious this time. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. It is core policy never to negotiate with a Moolah. All right, all right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. All right, let's go over what we know. It seems that this entire Gregor operation... Genius, admitted Eddie. ...has been masterminded by this super ambitious British velociraptor named Morgan Le Fay. Now... Miss LeFay, according to our files, has disposed of several agents. Beneath this smarmy civil exterior beats the heart of a demon. Imagine. And we still haven't heard from the Glimmer Twins. Sam! I'll do it! Anyone want to hazard a guess as to their chances? Me neither. Stand by for more luck transmissions. Uplink number one. Hello, Charlene. It's an honor. Uplinks two, three, and four complete. Hello, ladies. Thank you for joining me. What you're looking at is a live feed from the body of a wired call agent. An agent, we might add, who will proceed into Hollywood headquarters and download the entire agent roster. Now, you're aware of the implications, I'm sure. Duh, what do you think? We're morons, LaFay? Of course we get it. A tape of Core HQ? That's worth millions on the open market. I don't know. You know, Jill Whelan wasn't born yesterday, you guys. Yeah. How do we know we can trust you? We don't. Excuse me, ladies. But doesn't something seem to be a bit off? And what might that be, Don? Uh, where are the men? Yeah. What's up with that? I'm trying to pull a fast one, LaFay. I'm contacting only women in a shameless and essentially amoral move to empower my own gender. I think you'll find such information valuable in conducting your businesses. What does she mean? Empower our gender? Do I hear an opening bid, ladies? Pilot to Bombardier! Pilot to Bombardier! Do you copy? No, I do not copy. How about now? <laughs> Heard that. Now, if you don't mind, no dallying. I want you to go straight to call headquarters. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Where do you get words like that? We're doing the best with what you give us. Chandler and McNeil aren't exactly Hall of Famers, Coslo. We got every available agent out there looking for. Poughkeepsie for a lot of snow. Hey. Oh, Marcy, I hurt my neck. Hey, calm down, Coslo. These guys will turn up when you least expect. Like right under our noses. 
the toniest address in Hollywood. Nothing fancy but its own. Lived in his American, you'd say. Now, Mr. Spike, if you would be so kind as to stride directly towards your mainframe, or however you have things organized, and proceed to extract the agent roster. What's the rush? Why don't you ask Henry? Come on, come on. I'm sure there's a lot of things you may find of interest. must admit, I'm flattered. Well, it's not like you winning a Grammy or anything. Such hostility, Mr. Smythe. Well, you just bring out something in me. Smythe, nice of your show. Identify. Walker Rothenberg, resident information specialist slash man eater. What? Yes. Ow. My throat, something. Yeah, you're kind of weird, you know that, Smythe? Something wrong with being wired? So what's the idea? You walk in here, you don't answer. Beeps, pages. Ford's about to have an aneurysm. It just snuck up on me. You can bat it, alibis. Where's McNeil? It's hard to pinpoint exactly. Well, when was the last time you saw him? Yesterday, day before, I don't know. You're acting really strange, Smythe. It's, it's allergies. Uh-huh. Well, I suggest that you get your story straight before you go in to see Ford and Decker. I've never seen him like this. I have a semi-legit excuse. Trust me, Walker. What kind of eye twitch thing you got going on there, Smythe? It's tracker. There's really no good way to put this, but I need access to the uh, central core database. Are you high? I wouldn't ask if this wasn't important. That's restricted, okay? Now, Ford and Decker want to see you ASAP. Two agents went Morlock on your watch, in case you didn't know. It's terrible, really, such mm -hmm. genocide. And you don't have any idea where your partner is, and now you want access to the Ford's most sensitive information? I don't write you up right now. I know I've been acting like a free electron here, Walker, but really, there, there, there's, there's something that you should know. If I am. I'm listening. Spunk to him, doesn't he? Naughty, naughty, Mr. Smythe. Call your pets, Morgan. It's like Fort Knox down here. Hey Chandler, you know what? I'm not even gonna get mad at you. Know why? Because I know you're gonna have a valid excuse for failing to call in, abandoning King and Woods, and possibly getting me reassigned to Evanston. I thought it was Poughkeepsie. Are those you're... paint fumes getting to you? What? Paint fumes? I don't know. I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Chandler, in our office, two minutes. I, you gotta give me a second. I, I, I... <laughs> stick with him, Dick. Yeah. Something smells fishy here, and it ain't my tookus. Workers. Yeah, sure, you got a papa guy every now and then, but I don't mind that aspect of it. <laughs> Remember when you asked me how many more locks I popped this month?
say, Dick, where is Smite? No, no. I thought you were following him. Hey, you ever have cold fried food? Am I the only one watching the score around here? Ah, oh, yes. You are Lord. not the only one. That's for the last time. security breach. I'm dead. I'm toast. I'm over with. 26 years and it's come to this. Cosmo's head's gonna explode, man. Oh, wait, Ford, 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 relax. Let's just take a minute and look at this logically. What do we know? Chandler's wired. What don't we know? Who's listening? The fake, duh! Chandler's downloading the agent roster. She's after the aliases of all the agents. The whole core's gonna be outed. Yeah, well, if that ever gets out, it's dark ages. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, God, this is not happening! I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. I'm spinning out over here. Somebody just... The only thing I don't understand is why would Chandler risk the whole division? What do they have on it? Henry. Oh, freak. Zap me again. Take my speed. Change was inside. Well done, son. Now that you've acquired the roster, all that's left is delivery. I want you back in 20 minutes. So we got audio or what? Now I will deliver the disc as soon as it's not too conspicuous. Oh, my God. He knows yeah, we're watching. Shut up. I can't hear what he's saying. 2796 Creston Drive. Make sure that Henry has a pulse. You thinking what I'm thinking? We head for this 2796 Creston Drive. Snatch the registry. And plant LeFay. Make things right with district all in one fell swoop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You're telling me that one of the agents from the Hollywood division, this, this Smythe character, actually let himself be wired? And is going after the Hollywood Court Registry even as we speak. And you're sure LaFay has no idea you're a double agent? I'm a professional, Bernie. She thinks I'm a card carrying Morlock and a feminazi to boot. Of course we get it. She's totally snowed. No clue I'm a court agent. God, if only I had an army of Aaron Morans. The world would be a better place. Oh! You know, the fact is, Coslo, looks like you got a pack of traitors over in the Hollywood division. That Ford guy's been looking to stab me in the back ever since I was promoted. Well, maybe this is your chance to get rid of him. Permanently. What it is? 
is, bro. We've been looking all over for you. I'm sorry. I've been out of touch with yeah, allergies. Yeah, you look horrible. Are you getting enough rest? Not really. No, I didn't. Hey, you got to think of yourself sometimes. This all this work and no play. That's not working for no. you. Take the afternoon off. Seriously? Has a fart in a diver's helmet. Seriously, go out and get in the green field, do some stargazing. We'll take care of the King of the Woods thing tomorrow. Right. Well, thanks, Ford. I, I, uh, I appreciate it. Hey, what are bosses for? Bollocks. They know. This is mine. Transmitting. Are you quite sure you're not being followed? Yep. Good. Ah, uh, there's been a slight change in plan. Why is that? Well, I haven't been getting out much, and rather than meeting at my place, I thought that, say, the Hollywood Observatory might be better. Uh, but you know, um... But what, Mr. Smythe? Is there a problem? No, it, it's just that, uh... Good. It's settled then. You're still bringing Henry. Certainly. I'll see you shortly. Alone, of course. You can be damn sure of that. again. The face flown the coop. She's probably getting the court registry even as we speak. All in a day's work for the Hollywood division, hmm? What did you do? You hurt your neck? You know what, Ford? I wonder if the situation were reversed. How would you be treating me, huh? Lord knows you've been waiting for me to stumble for years. Just any chance to slip in the knife, huh? Hey, get a grip, Coslo. You're delusional. Am I? You would just love to watch me go down. Ever since I got promoted in 89, you're still bitter. Admit it. Well, I am not going to just sit here and wait for the axe to fall. I am making a preemptive strike. I am taking you out once and for all. I'd like to formally register my complaint with this operation. Shut up! I'm the one giving orders here. I'm in charge. Okay. Don't worry. I'll tell the brass you dive with your boots on. Hey, maybe they'll give you a medal. Asphalt, does she realize that? True, good, Henry. What'd you expect out of me? Were you followed, dearie? Definitely not. The roster, then. I'm on a schedule. Don't tell her. Then you die. Look, if the situation was reversed, I wouldn't do it to save you. The situation isn't reversed. I'm not joking, Smythe. I'll let you die. Seriously? Sir, I'm another person. And even if I was gonna really die, I mean, you know, die, die. Yeah, even if he was going to die, die. Well, Hen, that's where we're different. Move it. Come on. I like a man. Come on, let's go. Don't make me put a slug in you. It's real easy. Don't make me do it for you, because you know I will. I will put a slug right in your back. You know what you need, Kozlo? An attitude adjustment. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. There is a God. My goodness. I is everyone okay? Say what? Must admit, I, I feel like a new man. And it's the damnedest thing, but my neck feels like a million bucks. It's filled with love and empathy. Is anybody with me here? Hey, we're all right there with you on that one, cuz. Yeah, run with that. You know what, Ford? You and I, we should work on the LaFay case together. So glad to hear you say that, boss. Not so fast, people. Has anyone read the society write-up in the Times? Uh, I get the post. Oh, of course you do, you plebe. Gregor, what in heaven's name are you doing here? All I have to do is rewind one of your little tapes, silly. I know all about your little stings. What about me? What about my life? Listen, 
Greg on you, the in crowd's flavor of the minute stylist, while charging laughably exorbitant prices for his famed bi level haircut, belies an artist singularly bereft of any discernible styling talent. Ooh, us. I tried to tell you. I am confident that the lightning quick ascendancy, this is my favorite part, of this individual is sure to be followed by a sudden and final fall from grace. Nice double entendre. This is not what we agreed upon. Do you know what a rat of like this can do to a man's reputation? Oh, please. You never said anything about critical success. I'm ruined. I'm laughing. Stop. <laughs> Morgan. Five levels out to posture. On the very line of personal air care product. You missed me. Don't be so sure. <laughs> like the good folks in Hollywood can sleep easy once again. Chandler and Henry are on the case. You know, it's getting to where I dig this gig. What do you mean, the core? No, smoking. Uh, the core's okay, too. Uh, you know, it's good when you get a renunciation. Don't happen much. Keeps the bosses happy. Keeps district happy. <laughs> Look like Ford's gonna get a commendation, too. Cosmo really changed his tune. Therapy's an amazing thing. All right, Floyd. Just a little off the side, and you'll be all the rage at the rest home. Looks like you found your calling, kid. Today we want to discuss the Ripper. But before we get to that, I'd like to quote you a passage from War and Peace. Violence in its many forms is an involuntary quest for identity. And when that identity is threatened, we have a mandate for war. War, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we are fighting. And to fight that war, we must entertain moves like the Ripper. The Ripper is nothing more than punishment placed on the enemy's head. And it's a very, very simple move. You just dash right into him with a thong and rip him up. Oh, I'm out of the bitch. Hey, what? Stand over here and take this lid. On the next G versus E. Let me guess. The pilots are dead and the prisoners got away. Y'all have a nice flight. Yeah! Yeah. 30,000 feet up without a parachute is not good. Cause when evil jumps ship, we're gonna die, man. The good parachutes draw straws. The one who draws the short straw dies. Damn it. G versus E. Next Sunday night at 8 on USA. It was the best partner I ever had.